All right, let's get started. So we're gonna to cover today the anatomical terms that we absolutely need to know before we go into the MBLEX. So for many of you, this is going to be a review. You probably already have an understanding of this. And if not, then make sure you pay attention, okay? And then towards the end, we're gonna have a quick little quiz that will just test your knowledge of what we have covered today, okay? So the first one we're gonna cover is anterior and posterior, okay? So the other words that uh, represent anterior is ventral, and another word that represents posterior is dorsal. So anterior just means in front of, okay, before. And then posterior means back, behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that first original slide. Notice that down here it says anterior view. Okay, so we notice that it is the front of the body. And then right here it says posterior view. It is the back of the body. Okay, now let's go ahead and head back. So hopefully that makes more sense in respect to the anterior and posterior view. Next is superior and then inferior. Superior is just situated above, okay, situated above. Inferior is situated below, lower, or beneath. So for instance, the head is superior to the feet, okay? Another example, is both knees bilaterally are inferior to the shoulders, okay? The next one we have is medial and lateral. Now look right here, real small, you should see a midline. What this is is an invisible line that runs down the middle of our bodies, okay? So medial is toward that midline, so going toward. Notice how this arrow is pointing towards the midline. And then lateral is directed toward the side, so it is going away from the midline. If you have a look over here, you'll see the lateral view of this body is just the side of the body. Okay, so for an example, the inner thighs, which is right here, is going to be medial towards the midline to the outer thighs. Okay, so the inner thighs are medial to the outer thighs. Next, we have proximal and distal. So proximal means that it's situated nearer. Anytime these words are in bold, that, mean it's, that means it is a key word. Okay, so proximal is nearer to the center or midline of the body. So here's the center, here's the midline that we were talking about, the invisible line in the middle of our bodies. And so for example, the shoulders are proximal, closer to the midline, than the tips of the fingers, okay? The ankles are more distal than the hip, okay? So that's two examples of proximal and distal. And then real quick, distal is further from the center or midline of the body. So this is further away. The ankles are further away than the hips. The hips are really close to that invisible midline. Then we have cranial and caudal, okay? Cranial is going to be toward the head or cranium. That's an easy way to remember cranial, cranium. And then caudal is toward the tail, okay? So for instance, the, uh, let's see, the, the neck. The neck is what to the tail, okay? So the reason I say that and I didn't give the full example is because coming up here real quick, next slide, is a quick quiz, okay? And that is actually the example of cranial or caudal. So I want you to give this a try real quick, okay? So it's gonna test your knowledge of the ones we covered today. And then I want you to either write it down on a separate sheet of paper or post it on the comments below what your answers are. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post the correct answers in the description of this video. Now don't cheat, don't look at it first. I, want, I encourage you to try these out first and see how you did, okay? So I hope this helps. We're gonna cover some more videos like this with some more anatomical terms, any technical terms that we need to know before we go into the MBLEX, okay? 
So hopefully this helps. If it did, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. All right, y'all have a wonderful week.